Hey, hello everyone. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to check whether a character is a consonant or a vowel. So I'm going to do this program in C++. So let's get into the video. So currently I have a empty C++ project over here and it's just as a header files. Okay. So let's input a character from the user. Okay. So char C be the character. Okay. So just put a C in of C and let's just put a C out. Okay. Enter, uh, enter a character. Okay. Something. So after inputting the character, okay, so we are just going to use a if condition and use a like multiple conditions by you combined by using or operator, okay. For the, those who don't know, or is like a it's just a simple logical operator, okay, or not and and okay. So it's going to be like if C that is our variable, if C equal to single quote A, okay, and or so this represents or okay. So or basically stands okay. So if any one of the following conditions are true. The condition totally is true okay so that's what r stands for so if the c is equal to a uh, i will show run and show you okay at the end okay so first let's, let me just complete the code so just i will just copy it okay now c equal to a and i'll just paste it multiple number of times a e i o u okay I could, that's good so a e and i and o and u okay that's fantastic so so if like if the input character c is like equal to any of this any one of these characters okay that's what odd suppose if we input uh, o okay c is o first it will check this condition okay this becomes false because c is o and it's not equal to a this becomes false this becomes false this becomes false this only condition is true okay and this is also false so it's going to be false 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 and true so basically like r is like that if any one of the condition is true then the entire condition is true. It's like converse to and and is like that. Uh, and operator, as you can guess, like if only if all the conditions are true, it's going to be true. Even even if one condition is false, it's going to be false. That's the condition. So it's going to be like uh, if if the input variable is equal to any of these characters, it's going to be C out. Uh, it is a vowel. And for else, it's going to be like C out. It is a consonant. consonant. Okay, I'm spelling right, I guess. Consonant. Yeah, that's good. It needs to get optimized. Okay, so this is not like a generic code. Okay, I will explain you after showing the output. Okay, checking the output. Okay, so I'm just running the code. I didn't. I didn't put a semicolon. Okay, see a semicolon over here. So enter a character, so I will just enter O, okay. So I'm getting it is a vowel and let me show you another uh, non-vowel. I will just enter a non-vowel. I'll just reset. So it's a constant. So that's fantastic, okay. So now uh, OA told you it's need to get more genetic and optimized because here we have only small uh, characters, okay. So what if it was a capital A, okay. Capital A, capital A. So for that also what you can do is that you can just uh, copy this, okay. Same thing, you can just copy this and you can just go over here and just go over here and just paste it again and again, again and again. I'm just going to put capital A E I O U, it's going to be capital A, capital E, and I and O and U. Okay. So I'm going to just delete the last one. So that's good. So now I'll just run and show you again. So if I just enter capital A, okay, I'll be getting a vowel. So that's pretty good. And another thing I want to tell is that uh, if you need to put only single quote, okay. Suppose if I just put double quote and put A A over here, this will show you an error, okay. So if I just write now, okay, run this code. So as you can see here, it gives an error because like it's a string double quotes in uh, C++ refers to string and we are giving here a character okay so only single quotes can character can be only compared to a character so we need to put only single quotes if you put double quotes as you can see guess uh, it showed me an error okay four bits comes with a pointer and digit that's what the error came me uh, came for me so you need to put only single quotes so like I will show you another way like instead of like putting so many or conditions for this AEIOU what if we converted the character okay 
the input character into a uh, small letter itself so i will just uh, remove this okay a e i o u okay so i will now just show you okay and i will just comment this statement okay and commenting okay so now i am going to show you like how you can convert the input okay input character into a input character if given in a like capital letter to a lower case okay we are having like inbuilt function to lower okay so if i just put c out okay c out to lower okay to lower i will just pass c okay i'm just printing okay printing and c so what we will get let's just execute this code and check so here okay it's showing an error ah uh, okay it is expecting a curly packet okay that's good now just i'll run it so here we are going to input a capital letter as you can guess and c out to lower will con convert it to our small letter okay so i've just put capital a and it needs to give small a but we will be getting 97 so many can be questioning me why oh, it's 97 97 is because it's the ascii value of small a so if i just put uh capital b okay capital b over here i will be getting 98 okay so as you know can guess capital small letters ascii value is between 97 and 122 or uh, 26 letters in between so we are getting the ascii value of the small letter. it's converting but it's converting not into character it's converting into an ascii value so to get the value itself what we are going to do is we are going to typecast it to care itself so we just put care in this bracket and if we just execute this code okay now if, i will show you if i put a i'll be getting small a that simple so this one line of Cat to low upper and the uh, variable inside the parent this is will convert our capital to small case so that's pretty good okay so this can avoid us using so many what we can do is that we can just copy this code okay cut it okay and we can go here and paste it and we can just put uh, c equal to so this basically converts our thing okay so if you just let it this also and I think we have an extra one over here so if we just okay that's good so if we just execute this code okay and i will put capital a and i'll be getting it is a bubble so this is the beauty of c plus plus okay so we aren't using any extra condition so this uh only has code as like it has in like uh you can't say it has optimized size it has just reduced our code size okay just uh avoiding those extra file five like five statements of code so that's what optimization that i meant so that's it i hope you have got this video and i showed like two three methods of doing it that's it for this video and myself from channel event rules in cc plus python java blender the distributed animation and unity as well so do check out the channel subscribe to me and thanks for watching